Hey everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Clash of the Worlds. Before we begin the episode, I would like to ask you to please also go and check out my gaming review channel, Kanoa Reviews, where I do video reviews of both old and new games. You can find the link to the Kanoa Reviews channel in the description down below. If you like the content there, then please consider subscribing to the Kanoa Reviews channel, since it helps me out a lot. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the episode. The Clones are fierce warriors that have served all over the galaxy and now also got involved in the battle for Earth. They reach their goals through dedication, hard work, and rigorous training routines. The training routines are always carefully crafted in their virtual training centers on their ships and their station planets. Every day, new clones are trained and put through various tests to see if they can go out there in the field. Today was another one of those tests, and this one was adapted to fighting on Earth. A new batch of clones were put through multiple training stages, and this one would be a large-scale battle zone filled with various objects that can be found on Earth for cover. With more collected data, they could also train against other enemies from various factions. But for now, they continue to train against the virtually uploaded battle droids that were also on Earth. It was time to see who of these clones could follow commands and make it out alive with their squad mates to finally earn their colors and the right to go out there on the battlefield. Alright, hey everybody and uh, welcome to another episode of Clash of the Worlds as we today are witnessing one of the uh, training sessions from the clones. Look at that, all these clones are heading in fighting against simulated droids. And you might actually notice that all of these clones do still have phase 2 armor, where of course normally they would be the shinies, they might actually have phase 1 um, armor and helmets. But they are currently not in the Star Wars mod that I am using. Which is also why a lot of people ask where the uh, Galactic Empire, the current mod that I'm using, does not have uh, Imperial units, hopefully in the future, so that we can also uh, cover them a bit more in the series. What I have done here actually is a very, very wide front. Uh, it's the widest I've ever done. We have probably close up to 300 units fighting in this battle. So let's see how that goes. You can already see some red blaster fire from the droids heading our way. There's a lot of cover. And I will say this, it's actually very cool to just, you know, place these objects down and see how the units actually properly use them for cover. You can see that here we actually have pulled through quite a bit. There's a unit there. Got him, he went down. This clone just got hit. I'm gonna wait until a few more clones are heading up. Don't worry, those that died did not actually die, but they did fail their training. These guys will have to do this test over again. Got him. Actually going to switch here. You can see again clones fighting all the way at the horizon and still a long way at the right though we are more on the right side of our uh, of our line as a as a whole That's a very small target. Alright, let's actually move forward. We have a little bit of cover of smoke. Multiple units heading forward. Now we're getting in a bit of a pickle here. Taking a lot of fire.
Got either one or two of them. Gonna heal up. Oh, we are losing men fast. Now you can see that our line is still holding there. He's down. I'm actually going to... There we go. Grab an extra first aid kit and turn and when I need to heal. Oh god. Well, that clone also failed uh failed this mission. I have to redo that test as well, but as you can see there's a lot of others that I can still switch to. This one's a bit to the back. Oh, this is where I was just a moment ago. Let's actually go around now to the left side. See what's up there. Fighting is still happening here. Doesn't seem to be as heavy as to the right. Might actually be able to help our right side by flanking on their left. Oh, and there we got some droids. And again, the uh, clones will probably also lend these training sessions to their uh, UNSC comrades. <clears throat> we might see that also some time in the show. Uh, but I don't want to clutter the show up too much, or series too, uh, too much up with these episodes. Though again, you will see more of them in the future. I think it's actually very cool. Um, and it's a great way to analyze data and try out things um, from previously fought battles. Like with the Galactic Empire, we could actually set up the First Order troopers against the Galactic Empire, or the Imperial units. And see what the data numbers uh, crunching in what faction is the better or stronger one. It's got qu quite uh, very quiet all of a sudden. This might be the end. We've reached their side of the stage. Can still be that there are some droids that are like hidden behind the objects, but other than that, we might be, yeah, there you can see the clones heading towards the area. Maybe I should have actually put like something like a flag down. We definitely saw some clones die, but um, I think it is also very clear in this mod how superior the clones are to the droids. The droids were just falling like flies and you can still see how many clones are actually still alive. Let's actually get a vantage point up here. Clones to my left. A lot of them. Clones to my right. Again, all the way up to there. Oh. Yeah, again, like I said, there could be still stragglers. But that is pretty much it. What is this? What is this battle that's happening here? This is behind this. These large, like, training structures are very good at hiding units. And I don't see anything. Gonna take one final look here. But again, as you can see, a lot of clones actually succeeded this training session, and they will now be sent out to face real enemies. It was another highly successful training routine.
most of the clones had reached the other side of the war zone and had eradicated 95% of the enemy. Those that excelled were labeled squad leaders out in the field as well. And for these clones, their first assignment would be to attack a nearby city that had been held by the Imperial Stormtroopers. The clone armies had faced them through many generations before, and for these new recruits, it was their own baptism of fire.